टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द टॉपिक मोनेटाइजेशन ऑफ डेफिसिट व्हेन गवर्नमेंट बोरोस फ्रॉम आरबीआई डायरेक्टली इट इज कॉल्ड मोनेटाइजेशन ऑफ डेफिसिट गवर्नमेंट जस्ट कैन नॉट बोरो लाइक दिस गवर्नमेंट विल हैव टू इशू एड हॉक ट्रेजरी बिल्स एंड देन द गवर्नमेंट कैन बोरो द गवर्नमेंट विल हैव टू प्रोवाइड इंटरेस्ट टू आरबीआई आल्सो दिस इज आल्सो कॉल्ड डायरेक्ट मोनेटाइजेशन it is different from deficit financing it is different from indirect monetization first deficit financing when deficit financing means the method by which the government can finance its deficit the government can borrow from internal sources that's from the domestic banks it can also borrow from outside the country if i talk about indirect monetization in that case under open market operations rbi will be buying bonds from the banks and giving them liquidity and when the same liquidity will be used by the banks to give funds to the government it is called indirect monetization now uh, this direct monetization was continued till 1997 but it was stopped after that and also 2003 frbm act it has stopped or it had barred the rbi from subscribing to the primary issues of government bonds reason being it has two drawbacks first is monetization of deficit it resorts to inflation second is it also brings a habit of wasteful expenditure with the government the government thinks whatever deficit it will have rbi will print new money and give it to it but point is why is the rbi is the government thinking about monetization of deficit now point is if the government borrows from banks then it will lead to crowding out impact it will also push the bond yields up another thing is if the government has to bring growth it needs funds but as the revenues have have dried up because of the lockdown no direct no indirect tax collection so government needs funds so government cannot get funds from taxes government cannot get funds from banks the only only option available for the government now is that rbi prints new money gives it gives to it and it resorts to monetization of deficit i hope you have understood it thank you bye